All right, hello again, everyone. Welcome back for more of uh, what's it? Fuck, sake, I never. I, I literally said this out loud twenty like five minutes ago. Welcome back to Martian Four. What? Yeah, Martian Four. So that's what we're gonna call it. Where was I? Oh, such a hard choice. Eight seconds of a difference. <laughs> Uh, last time I became an intermediate apothecary or reputed or whatever. Oh yeah, I got up to the part where the... Do I have enough ingredients? I'm going to check really quick. I don't know. I'm gonna, Again, it's going to be another short one because my voice is still kind of fucked. Like, it's not too bad, but... Yes. It's definitely better than it was a few days ago when I last did this on Friday. But it's still kind of a bit off, so... Let's see if Grandpa has anything... Do I have enough? Ah! <laughs> try not to be... I'm gonna try to scream. <laughs> so far this game has been okay. It's It's been cute, but... Nothing has really happened, but again... I've only played for like 40 minutes. Now let's put in the ingredients. Oh, here's a dizzy mushroom. Ah, what a mesmerizing ingredient. Here's the damp moss. Good, this would add some much needed moisture. Yeah, we got the flying onion already, Jesus. Oh, here's a tomato. Sorry about that, I just had to get my drink. Ah, this one's nice and all right. Here's, oh, that's river water. Perfectly ordinary ingredient. Here's a zinnia. Yes, that one was worth the wait. Here's a carrot. Ho ho, this is certainly a hairy ingredient. Here's a black pearl. Fuck me that. This ingredient is always sold out at the Arcane Apothecary. Here's a jack-o'-lantern. Jesus. It's tempting to get... Oh yeah, so I did that one. Are they going to do this every time? Yeah, what kind of portion will this ingredients create? No. Please be new. No! A dream portion again? <laughs> uh, what do I... What, what did I forget? Oh my god. No, I think I might have left last one because like I said, my voice was killing me so I might have just left it. I probably have to do something with these. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I think you should just have a bit of confidence and tell her how you feel. But I'm not very athletic. I'm a slow runner and I'm not a great swimmer either. How could someone like me ever be confident? You can't. Your life is over. You suck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one in the whole wide world would look at me and think I'm good enough for her. Wanna try working out... To, wanna try working out to get over your confidence over... Uh, to get your confidence up a bit. You're right, moping isn't going to change anything. But I can't do this alone, will you be my personal trainer? Yes. Because I'm so buff. <laughs> From now on, I'm calling you coach. Come talk to me whenever you have some guidance. I have some guidance. Hey, how am I doing? Right now, my wings. Couldn't even pick up a spoon. Right now, my legs aren't strong enough to skip. Coach, what are we working on today? We'll go with wing strength. Okay. What are we doing? I don't get it. I don't, I'm scared. Ok, 
Can I pick up the... Time to fish. Oh, get the watermelon. No. I got a bite. Shit. Wow, they do not hold back. You press the wrong button once, it's over. I've played games made for adults. Where you would get a chance if you press the wrong button. What? This time. Is it always the same or coincidence? Ta-da! I got a rocky fish. What do I do? They said he's training near the ruins. Did I, did I get everything up here? Wow, he's going for it. What have you got for me today, coach? I'm ready when you are. So I just leave him there, or...? Alright... What the fuck I'm doing? I'm so confused. I suppose I can go to the second floor, but first... This was the last place I unlocked before. Before I left it. But I think I finished every thing around here. But no one will believe me. Mysterious pedestal. I'm going to be honest, I had to deal with some cat stuff and I completely forgot if I was saying anything or talking about anything. Oh yeah, he did this already. Uh, oh, no, there's the flowers. I, I'm going to go back and check if the fish made any difference and if not... Uh, no. I don't think they did anything. No, I just mentioned the bird. I don't think you have any relevance. Oh! If you happen to find a nice fish print, bring it to me. What the fuck is a fish print? I'll buy it for a fair price. Anyway, about that rod of yours. Well, it might serve you as a beginner. It won't catch you anything big, not unless you're really lucky. What a try mine out, okay. Let me guess, I have to sell fish to buy the rod. <laughs> Select categories. Return or weapons and rods. Oh, weapons. So you do fight. Is that the one I have? So I need 150. So I can sell... Oh, so it's actually really easy to get. Okay. I'll come back to that soon. Hopefully I don't need it right now. Uh... Sure. I don't know what to do. Let's try the books upstairs that they mentioned. Sure. Let's do it. Become an intermediate. First thing you need to do if you want to become an intermediate apothecary is collect plenty of ingredients. At least five. But that's what I have. No less than 10. So I need at least 10? Volatile, I don't know. Hey. Rocky fish print. No, one sec. 
I'll try again. Oh wait, no, I probably need the watermelon. I'll try to sell the thing and catch the thing and then do the thing. <laughs> I'll try to get 150 acorns and then try again with the watermelon. Hopefully. Do, do. Maybe at some point the penguin will come back. Hopefully it's not some bullshit where it's like one stare at a time. Go! <laughs> I got a bite. X. Whoa, what a mix up. Okay, it's only three buttons. <laughs> and it's only between X and square, it seems like at the moment. It's a. I caught hook. I better let him go. Alright. Does that count? I'll try one more time just in case. Now we wait. Perfect. I wonder if it matters when you press it. No! Is that Tom again? No, it's not. It's a toad. No, it's not. <laughs> I got Scoppy. Scoppy. Alright, that should be plenty. Okay, can do hook. Ten thirty and fine. Fuck's sake. <laughs> fine. Ah, when the hell was he there every time? He was not. No way, I would not have noticed him. Got a bite. Jesus. Huh? Hey, it's a penguin. <laughs> uh, it's not a penguin. Oh, good. That's one that costs 80. Good. No. So I'm going to do one more just in case anything else happens. That was really suspicious. Come on. Something good. It's a... It's a... Ta-da! Alright, at least we know that's for sure enough. No penguin stuff. Not this time. Ah, my fuck. My hand hurts. Alright, Mr. Nook. Still an idea. Why return at the top? Alright, let's buy the um Ooh, we can oh we can buy what we already sold. Fuck. Okay, I didn't expect there to be more. Oh, I guess we're starting with the Mountain Stream Rod. Let's buy six of them. You got Cool. Let's try to get the thing. Time to fish. Get the melon. How do I change rod? No. Sorry. No. Melon. No. How do I change my rod? I thought it would just take over by default. Equipment, I guess. Yeah. Alright, let's catch the watermelon this time. Then I guess we'll check on Paul. I don't fucking know. I got a bite. Excuse me? It's because it's better, I didn't need to press any buttons, maybe. I got bumpy head. Cool, this seems all very unhelpful at the moment. 
Wait. Alt. Cool. I don't belong here. Cool. What else is there? Oh shit! A prime example of a volatile material is black pearl. I'm sure there were many others, but I can't seem to remember any of them. There's an easy way of telling volatile materials apart. Volatile materials are not suitable for advanced potion mixing. But they are incredible when used in cooking. Any professional chef worth their salt would bend over backwards to get their hands on some. In other words, there's no such thing as a useless ingredient. Just as there's no such thing as a useless creature. All things have a purpose in this world, little one. You do well to remember that. A chef, huh? Was there anyone like that around here? Was there? Ye it has to be you. You're not a chef. Okay, there's a restaurant somewhere in this forest. Are you the restaurant? You're not. It has to be the flowers, right? They're, they're the only ones who haven't done anything. You there. Huh? Me? Sorry if I skip things. Sometimes it's hard to remember if, I, if they're repeating. Will you go ask the residents of the forest which flower they think is prettier? Okay, I can do that. Hi, Melon. Wanna see you? No. Am I gonna lie? It appears there are still some residents who haven't asked yet. You're a dick. Go talk to everyone. Fuck you. Do I like roses or violets more? Violets. Because red thorns have... Because roses have red thorns. Jesus. Because roses have thorns on them. I prefer not to get wrapped up in any kind of trouble. Didn't even say the word red. Okay, shut up. I want to live my life on the straight and narrow. I want you to shut the fuck up. Who's left? <laughs> One down. Who's left? I'm not going to talk to the penguin. I don't trust them. Do I think roses or violets are prettier? I don't believe any one thing is inherently prettier than or better than another. So I don't think I can answer your question, I'm afraid. No, no, get it, but that sounds pretty deep. It's not. Thanks anyway, Mr. Baird. It, 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 it's, it's really not as deep as, as you think or as he thinks, I promise. <laughs> roses or violets? You're better off asking someone who's lived in the forest longer than I have. Dude, just answer the fucking question. You're all awkward as shit. Roses or violets? Roses, duh. My mom grows roses. She always talk. She's always talking about how pretty they are. Cool. Do uh, I don't have to everyone, do I? Little Craig. Hello. What is it, Melon? Which you think are prettier, roses or violets? I'm just a rock. I don't, know any, I don't know much about those things. Okay, thanks anyway, Mr. Craig. Roses or violets? What a curious question. My answer is, of course, that mushrooms are the most magnificent of all forest creatures. Alright, next person to not answer the question is getting, uh... 
get locked, executed, whatever it may be. Rosa or Violets or Carrot an option? What's that? What do I think is prettier, Violets or Roses? Can't you see I'm busy dealing with all this water? Right now the prettiest flower for me would be the one who grabbed the bucket to help me. What do you think of that? Hey you all. Okay, I, I hope I don't have to ask Grandpa. Please tell me that's enough people. No, I asked everyone. Oh, yeah, I didn't ask the Rose. <laughs> Who didn't I talk to? Maybe Paul. Oh, Rose or Violets? Violets. It doesn't matter. Any flower would look pretty in her feathers. Fuck you. The only one I haven't talked to is... Uh, <laughs> yes, it's... Yeah. What's that? You want to know which were prettier, violets or roses? Well, let's see. Let me ask you a question, Melly. Do you like stew or curry better? Stew or curry? Hmm, stew is thick and rich and delicious. But curry is yummy too. I like stew. I can't choose, I like them both. I thought you might say that. You see, roses and violets have different qualities. Each of them is special in their own way. I get it, they're both good for different reasons, so there's no point in comparing them. Thanks, Grandpa. I knew you'd set me straight. Take an answer. <laughs> oh, hopefully that's the defining answer. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ah. What did the people of the forest think? They said it was me, naturally. Don't kid yourself, they obviously chose me. Grandpa, help me understand something. Should talk to him first. You both have different qualities. So you're both lovely in your own way. Your uniqueness is what makes you both very beautiful. Oh my tee We flowers really are the most beautiful creatures in the forest, aren't we? Indeed, the other residents pale in comparison to us, don't they? Oh yes, you know your petals are very, really lovely, Rose. Oh Violet, that's sweet of you to say. I'm sure you'll hear this all the time, but your petals are such a gorgeous colour. Thank you very much for your assistance, Petal. This is for you. Sweet Leaf. Thanks. That reminds me, I found this in my flower bed. Would you take it for me? It's getting in the way of my leaves. Sure. You got a toolbox? Nice. Thank you so much, Blossom. You're welcome in my garden anytime. Yeah, I'll come visit again real soon. Yes! Let's make something. <laughs> you go, Penguin. You go, Paul. Okay, I'll go in and hand in the ingredients and then that'll be it. No matter what. I have a cat rooting around behind me. Right, let's try this one more time. Ah! <laughs> Oops. Um. Sure. 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 <laughs> this should be something. We did that one. Damp moss. Flying onion. What was the volatile one? The black pearl, but we don't have one, do we? Sweet leaf. Oh, what a delightfully fragrant ingredient. Black pearl. 
The ingredients all sold out. Wait, what? Is it because I put in the black pearl? Bumpy head print. Oh, what? I didn't know that counted. Please be different. I'm begging you. When did I get the black pearl anyway? Since they asked me to remove the volatile ones, I'll try getting rid of the pearl for now if I can. I guess I won't. The scholar said the volatile materials are rare ingredients that any chef would bend over backwards to get their hands on. Does that mean I have to give it to him? Y you know, Melon, y you could just not put it into the fucking thing. F fuck's sake. No, not right now. I can't believe I'm saying no to that. But I've talked to everybody. Oops. Who else could I possibly talk to? Ooh! Yeah, Rose gave it to me. Would you mind giving it to me? Sure, you can have it. What are you going to use it for? You'll see. Should I pass the time? Yes, sure. Do you know what, since I'm able to pass time now, and I know I'll be able to use that for the penguin as well, I will leave it there. Like I said, my voice is still fucking killing me. I'm almost better... Honestly, even yesterday or the day before, I was still pretty sick, so it makes sense. But yeah, I feel like I'll be getting into the thick of it soon, <laughs> of the game, hopefully. But yeah, thanks for watching, I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you next time, thanks for watching.